These are Japanese sweet potatoes. And they're all ready to go. All ready to get cooked. They've been cleaned. I used this to clean them. And I cut the ends off. Now I'm going to put them in here, but first I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to set the uh, temperature to 400. And the time to an hour and a half, which is the maximum. And maybe I'll come back at some point and turn them over. Let me put them in here. This is parchment paper. You're not supposed to use aluminum foil because it causes the toaster oven to overheat. Like the, but you're not supposed to make the oven like th this will burn at 425 degrees. So I'm only setting it to 400. So, we're at the halfway point. So I'm going to... thought it would be a lot hotter. All right. I'm going to turn... i flip these over. I, I flipped these. I've done this with my hands before. Alright, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to see how soft they are. Bring them out again. Mm. Well, they're still, you know, well, you, you can see how yeah, soft they are. They're, they're, not, they're not softer on the outside than they would be, you know, on the inside. All right, we'll leave them in there for another 40 minutes. Okay, yeah. Uh, It's here's a small one. Let's see. Okay. I'd say that's done. What? Mm -hmm.
Now yeah, cut it open. Is this yeah, this is pretty soft. Now, now you could put butter on that. Or what? You could put sour cream. This is how you cook a uh, Japanese sweet potato. Mm -hmm. 